this came out in 1974. So the first edition of Spiritual Midwifery was actually 1975. And so how that started was that women themselves wrote their birth stories. And when I read them, I thought, wow, this is good writing. All I remember is us going out to Ida Mays and sitting on her bed for hours and hours and hours and telling stories and writing. Then we took our idea to the women in the community and said, write your birth stories. So it wasn't just the midwives, it was the whole community of women. And all of us were realizing you could actually give birth on a farm with no running water and no electricity and everything would be okay. And of course, we were right next to this Amish community who'd been doing it for several generations. <laughs> and I believe it was Stephen who said, you have to actually write about what you, the midwives, do that's special. How do you prepare? What equipment do you have? What are the safety factors and so forth? We felt like this was spiritual, what we were doing. This was the spiritual beginning of every family. We chose a great art director, and we had a whole room full of artists at work. The artist that drew this picture was at my daughter Sally's birth, and it was the center fold-out of the original spiritual midwifery. <laughs> 